Now we need to divide using short division. First, we have 68 divided by 2. So we can set the question out like this, with our divisor on the left. Now we start by dividing digits in larger place values. So first, we need to divide the 6 in our tens by 2. Well, 6 is in the 2 times table. And because 3 times 2 is 6, we know that 3 must be the tens digit of our answer. So now we can move on to our ones digit. 8 divided by 2 is 4, because 4 times 2 is 8. So our answer is 34. Now we have 72 divided by 3. So we set the question out in the same way. But here, our first digit is a 7, and 7 isn't in the 3 times table. So what we need to do here is think of a number in the 3 times table that's as close to 7 as possible, but not more than 7. Well, 6 is in the 3 times table, and 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 is the tens digit of our answer. But 2 times 3 is only 6, and we have 7. To get to 7 from 6, we need 1 more. So that tells us that we have a remainder of 1 when we're dividing the tens digit, and we write the remainder 1 in front of the next digit. So 7 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 1, because 2 times 3 is 6, and then we need 1 more to get to 7. So now, because we have a 1 in front of our 1's digit, we have 12 divided by 3. That's 4, because 4 times 3 is 12, so our answer is 24. Now, 96 divided by 4. 9 isn't in the 4 times table, so we need to think of a number in the 4 times table that's as close to 9 as possible, but not more than 9. Well, 8 is in the 4 times table, and because 2 times 4 is 8, we can write 2 in our answer line. But 2 times 4 is 8, and we need 1 more to get to 9, so we write 1 in front of the next digit. So now we have 16 divided by 4, which is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, so that gives us 24. And finally, we have 123 divided by 3. So our first digit is a 1, but 1 is less than 3. So when the first digit is less than the divisor, what we can do is take two digits together. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, because 4 times 3 is 12. And because 4 times 3 is exactly 12, 12 is in the 3 times table, we don't have a remainder to put in front of our 1's digit. Instead, we just have 3 divided by 3, which is 1, giving us an answer of 41. So let's take a closer look at these questions. First, we had 68 divided by 2. First, we divided our 6 tens by 2, and that gave us 3, because we can see that we have 3 tens in each group. Then, we divided our 8 ones by 2, and doing that meant that we got 4 ones in each group, so 4 as the ones digit of our answer, 34. Then, we had 72 divided by 3. First, we needed to divide our 7 tens. Now we can have 2 tens in each group, but we can't share out this 10 here, because with division, we need to make equal groups. So, because we have 2 tens in each group, 2 is the tens digit of our answer, but then we have 1 10 that we can't share out, so we write 1 in front of the next digit along. And the reason why we do that is because we can exchange our 1 10 for 10 ones. And you can see that when we do that, we now have 12 ones. And that makes sense because in the method, we're now going to divide 12 by 3. So if we share out our 12 ones, 
we can share out all of those ones and we have four ones in each group because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that gives us an answer of 24. We have two tens and four ones in each of our groups. Now 96 divided by 4. We start by sharing out our nine tens. We can share out eight of our tens, but we can't share out this ten here because with division we need equal groups. So we have two tens in each group, so we can write two in our answer line. But remember, two times four is eight, and we need one more to get to nine, so we write one in front of the next digit. And the reason why we do that is because we can exchange our one remaining 10 into 10 ones. So that gives us 16 ones to share out altogether. When we share out our ones, we get four ones in each group. So that's why our answer is 24. And finally, we had 123 divided by two. Now we can't share out our 100 so remember what we did was take the first two digits together and we can do that when the first digit is less than the divisor. The reason why we can do that is because here we can exchange our hundred for ten tens and when we do that, that gives us twelve tens to share out altogether. Now we can share out all twelve of those tens with four tens in each group so that's 4 as the tens digit of our answer. And we don't have anything to write in front of our ones digit because we've been able to share out all of our tens. So now we just share out our three ones and because we have one one in each group, one is our ones digit and our answer is 41.